Hello. This is really, um, if you're new to Animator, this is just really to help you progress a little bit further along the line from actually creating animations. And what we have is because the software has been around for a few years, we actually have people that develop stuff that is now available to help you with Animator. And the first website I want to take you to is Terrain Animator. And it's a utility for expanding the capabilities. What is it good for? Well, it's good for creating scenery, water, lava, etc., etc., etc. So I would recommend that you actually go to this website and it should help you with your animations of your animator software. If you want some tutorials, we have some tutorials here. Again, we click on those. You can see that uh, it explains how to create the water, which we'll get into the bottom. You'll see that that's what you're actually creating there, is the water. Um, also, I'm just going to do this one. Thank you. Um, we have various zip files you can download. Terrain 7 is free for use and anything you create with it is your property. I encourage you to provide feedback in order to make the tool better. So if you wanted a fire effect, for example, you can download a fire zip. If you want a starry background, all you do is you just click on those, click on the file, and there's, there's the files you want to save. The JPEG you want to click save in an image file, and the TNA file is what you use in the terrain software. What else do we have? Well, we have some models that people have created. Doctor Who and the Daleks, if you're interested. A brief note on use of these models. You are free to download them, add them to your images or movies or modify them. Please extensive courtesy and credit to me. Okay, and with that, again, you've got all these things you can download to your animator. Um, some Daleks, um, various we've got pyramids of Mars, the citadel, spaceships, flying saucers, and basically you just you just click on the you just want to open it. Now this one's actually gone into Animator itself. And it creates this already there for you to actually use. So that's something you may find of use. We also have this one here. Now be careful here, it says here, note all models on this page are property of their authors. Do not use any in your programs without permission from the creators. But there are various zip models of what you can actually use in, in your animator. Again, if you open those, you'll see that there's a JPEG an image and there's an actual saved animator. That. Should be actually giving me a chipmunk. There's a chipmunk. So that's something you may or may not be able to download. And lastly, this one here, this website here, again, there's more things you can download. Uh, possibly with permission, I'm not sure. Open it. Ah, now that is a script file. So that's something you may want to save in your script folder. Now, these actual files and models and everything, what you actually need to do is when you're in Animator, what you do is you basically set yourself up the folders where you find things. So to do that, you go into File, you go into Configure, and there you'll set up your directories. So you set up your saved animations for your projects, textures, set up your images, your images file there, and your scripts you put in the scripts folder there. So if I actually was to go to my folder, 
for animator you'll see I've set up basically the videos folder that's where I've created the videos uh, images folder and save animations and a scripts folder and that's the file the exe to run the animator so if you're new to animator you may find that of use if you've already used animator then probably I've wasted your time so I apologize for that but hopefully it'll just give you something to look around and maybe help you when you get to use actually creating some more animations with animator thank you